the Arctic tank. Let's get closely up, Ecom. I want to try and go through this, <coughs> and I should have prepped it up better, but I haven't. I apologise, I'll zoom out because that's going to be way too big. I'm not going to be able to work in that small distance. Arctic tank, here we go. Right, now, thing you need to know about this is it is a sub tank that has the airflow of a jet engine. That's the bottom turbo dual coil that fits in it. You can tell it's a bottom turbo dual coil because it says BTD. Say or not, I don't know. Can you say that? Get it in the shadow, then they can. There you are. Go in the middle, David. This is, I'm going to have to put a target on this thing, you know, so I can see where to put things. Yes. My hand eye coordination's all gone to pot. Apparently, I just can't get my finger in the right place. You need to put a cross on your white mat or something. Oh. That's one way of looking at it. Jill's given me other advice, but I can't repeat that here. Oh. Um, <laughs> this is uh, 0.2 ohms, this one. Is it? But I've got the other ones at 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohms, which I actually prefer. But the construction of this thing is pretty damn good. It's quite familiar in many ways, but you can completely uh, need a cloth. And that's it, why you're all over the floor. Why not? Right, cloth time. I always use a cloth because I've got very slippy fingers. I don't know why. It's because they get well lubricated. Right. Uh, 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 there we go. It will completely disassemble. Which I think, oops, I've spilled me juice on the table. Where have you heard that before, Keith? <laughs> this is your, your, your base piece. And you'll discover that the threading, when it connects, is in the bottom here. You see the threads down there? Use a pointer, David. There's the threads down there, look. So this screws onto the threaded section on here, right? Um, and when you put it back together, obviously you're going to be able to get replacement glasses for it. You'll see that there's a threaded section in the top, threaded section in the top. So you just put those two together, screw it up, get it as tight as you like. And this is one of those times when tight is better. <laughs> Give us a time when tight is not. I do like a tight fit. A good tight screw is what you need. I'm channeling Gary Dibley tonight. So I'll just screw it until it stops. That's the easiest way. Um, you know how, how these coils go in. And I, but I want you to have a look down the centre of that. And look at how wide that is. And then look at how much, because this is the other one, there's four of those bloody great big holes there. Oh, yes. That's airflow, that is. That's what that is. That is airflow. Right? For comparison... Oh, it's the same one. Ha! That's one I've used earlier. I haven't got any uh, Aspires or anything like that handy, but for comparison, the airflow holes are nowhere near as big as that. You're just not going to get the amount of airflow. And you can see the size of the hole going up the middle. So again, airflow. Lots and lots of airflow. The only bugbear I've got with this, and it's really not that much, is that it's a little bit of a bugger to fill. Because you've got to get the end of your dobri in that slot which is why I've taken to use a hypodermic with this because right. I can get it in easier and I've always said the easier you can get it in the more fun you're going to have when you're pumping the juice out so a small bottle would be no good for a snipe, snipe nose bottle is probably good and you can fill it until as you can see here it's just getting on top of that little metal bit take no notice when they say don't do it do it and let's put the the thing back in it screws together nicely you don't get any of that o-ring hubris going on and again airflow you saw that the the the, uh, the coil had four air holes in and so has the arctic tank itself and they are adjustable as you can see and they are big right you can and i'll go to camera two even with it out on a, with it without it on a mod you can breathe Luke I am your father you know what I mean mm. it's brilliant right let's stick it on a divoose now this thing will quite happily run at the full 40 watts that I can get out of this RDNA 40 so let's 
do that I've got it locked at 35 but I'm going to bang it up to the full 40 and I'll prove it because I'll put it on camera and show you there you are, look full 40 won't go any further just so everybody knows because we never cheat unless I'm playing cards in which case don't play you'll lose all your money I do it's because I cheat never mind oh yes new coil thank you right here we go Oh yes. Oh hell yes. And I've shown this before, I've done this before, I'll do it again just to show you how much this thing will do. And bear in mind, what was that look for yourself? <laughs> bear in mind, this juice is as close to 100% VG as I can get. Right? But watch 40 watts. Right? Right. Smells like a nightclub in here now. I'm just going to give it a second, because that was quite a long blow, and then give it a drag. There you are. Bloody hell. That is how well this Arctic tank wicks. Does that impress you, Kate? I'm going to try and put Kate on camera. Look at the state of that. <laughs> <laughs> Dearie me. Yes. <laughs> Just go back to the camera. God. Look at the state of that. Hey, camera one on, Dave. Tell you what, look at it. It's like being in a disco. <laughs> um, that's how well it works, people. That is how well it works. Now, I am told and I've tried this with a 0.2 ohm coil in it. It'll take 100 watts. I've done it once. I won't be doing it again. It worked. It didn't burn. I didn't get anything nasty out of it, but it was bloody hot. And seriously, you couldn't take anything of a short drag with it. Well, of a long drag with it, you know, if you wanted to do a long drag thing, because it would just do you. It would bloody hell. I can't even see the screen. I mean, it's hanging, isn't it? Yes. Can you look? It's hanging, it's it is. It's like a bloody sheet. <laughs> it's just like being in a smoky shaft. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. Um, yes, it might. D D Dr. Cronenberg's just said, look at that cloud above DD. Precipitation next. It's about ready to rain, I think. Hang on. I've got to do something. If I put closely up, you come on. You're, oh, all right. That's closely up, you come's going through. It's the bottom turbine dual coil, the Arctic um, tank, and it is from Horizon. Horizon Tech, right? Horizon-sig.com. I am going to see... Good Lord, hey, hang on a minute. This I've got to sort this out. It won't go away, but it's it? ridiculous. That's the kind of thing that gets you barred out of pubs, I think. Go away. That's a bit better. Baby it's, gone. It's <laughs> if you're using one in your local hostelry, tell them to turn the aircon on and open all the bloody windows. This thing kicks it out. Now, I very, very rarely, very, very rarely recommend anybody gets anything. But if you can lung and you like the lung and you like a lot of vapour, go and get one. It's a Horizon Tech arctic tank i think they're fabulous i've got two that's how good they are and I, I'm, I'm going to buy some more so i've got some spares yes and that's taking us up to seven minutes to the hour of 10 o'clock it has i'm gonna have another get big draft oh god i'm no. gonna but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it to to that camera over there and i, I can tell you now i'm seven foot nine inches away from the camera right so this is i am i right. measured it the other right. day seven foot nine inches seven foot six inches now right make it eight foot right eight foot here we go way out from eight feet away Keith, 
you want to go soon? No. Definitely not. No, no. No, I'll give you that pleasure. Yeah, sweetness and light, I'm telling you. There you go. Do they do nickel ones, DD Monster Up? I said no. I have not seen nickel coils for them yet. However, it is on my list of things to do to get the right sized bolt, and it's going to be fairly easy to find, and then try and do a nickel wild nickel wind dual turbo coil on it. It's not going to be easy, but I'm determined I'm going to set myself the challenge. I am going to say this though, it will be pre-recorded because there's no way I'm going to be able to do it in a 20 minute segment on this show because you know what I'm like, I am a klutz. Fat lad, big gob, fat fingers to match. I really am. So there you go. Chief Keith's got it right in chat. He says, just do a search for Arctic Tank. Do it. Do it now. Well, not now. Do it at 10 o'clock when the show's finished. That's after you've watched ITV News. You might say somebody on there you recognise. Spot the Arctic Tank on the piece. It was in at 6 o'clock. It might be in even further at 10 o'clock. I don't know. It might be a little bit longer. Um, we're just about there. Is there anything you want to say to anybody, Keith? I don't think so. No. Go on. I, I'm very quiet tonight. I've just you been, are? Uh, yes. I should have given you a pint of the cider. No, no, no. I think so. I think so. I think so. I'm going to ask Sav. Put your volume on, Sav. What? Do you fancy an Arctic tank? I do, yes, I do. Because you like lugging it, don't you? So they've just come out, have they? Um, they haven't been out long, have they? It's not long, no. no two, three, four weeks, something like that. Um, they're in. They're not massively everywhere, but I think they will be. A cracking piece of kit, they really are. Yes, uh, I do fancy one of them. Yes. Very boring said he thinks that the head uses dual vertical coils. It does. Actually, I tell you what, because I took, I started taking one to bits the other day. So let's do some close upy cam stuff, and then you can. I'll see if I can get this close up enough that you can that you can make stuff out right. I tell you, you know you've got good airflow when you can get a screwdriver through it. Look at that. See that? Penetration. I'm just going to pull that bit out. And if you look inside, if I get the angles on this right, and it's not going to be easy to do, you can see, right, you might be able to see. Can you see just at about 10 o'clock, as you're looking at it, you can just see a little bit of insulation on the leg that goes up to the top coil. That's the positive leg that goes up to the top coil. You can just see it at around about between 9 and 10 o'clock. Yes. There's a little bit of insulation there, um, which is attention to detail. But you can definitely see that there's two wires in the paws. And if I swizzle it round a little bit... Oh, the parrots have heard us, have they? Yes, yeah, let's just turn it off there because the parrots are like, oh, I don't know that one. And you can just see there. I can't get any closer. I'm really sorry, but you can just see two bits of wire sticking out there. So it's definitely <laughs> dual vertical coils. And looking at the way that uh, that bottom end, I mean, just look look at the size of the air hole there. It's huge. That is ginormous. So I'll shove that back in because I don't want to knack that coil because it's a good one. Um, yes. I really, I really rather like that. I really, really do. It's good. Works well. Works very well. Really does. And with that, I think what I need to do is let you know what's coming up um, over the next week or two. Uh, 